Welcome to another Pastor's Chat. We've been talking about Romans chapter 3, how the righteousness and the justice and justification by faith is explained. How a holy, righteous God can forgive a rotten, wicked sinner of his sins. Well, as this passage began back in verse 21 that we're looking at at the end of the chapter, but now the righteousness of God apart from the law is revealed or it's manifest. In other words, in the Old Testament, God revealed His righteousness in many ways before the full revelation of the gospel of Jesus Christ. His judgments against sin, His appeals through the prophets, His blessings on the obedient. But now in the gospel, a new kind of righteousness has been made manifest. And the characteristics of that righteousness are spelled out in this section of Scripture. And we've been looking at that. And now that is how God can justify a sinner. And we've been talking about those words, re redemption and propitiation and faith and the uh, forbearance of God. In other words, in the Old Testament, God could foresee what He was going to do, even in the sacrifices that the people would make before Him as they would sacrifice for sin. One of the most beautiful illustrations of that was the scapegoats that the high priest in the Old Testament would take two goats. He had confessed the sins of the people. He would place upon the goat, basically, symbolically, the sins of the people. He would kill that goat, slay that blood, sprinkle that blood on the mercy seat before holy God in the tabernacle. Then he would take the other goat and they would drive it away into the wilderness as far as the east is from the west, so to speak. Drive away those sins. Those were all pictures. They were all types. And in God's forbearance, as by faith, they look forward to the day that Jesus Christ himself would fulfill the law. And so we looked at those verses. And so God is saying here that He has demonstrated at the present time, in verse 26, His righteousness. He has demonstrated His righteousness. That God is Himself just and the justifier of the one who places His faith in Jesus Christ. And then He asked the question as we close the chapter, where is boasting then? It's excluded. By what law? Of works? No, but by the law of faith. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith apart from the deeds of the law. Or, is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also the God of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also. Since there is one God who will justify the circumcised by faith and the uncircumcised through faith, do we then make void the law through faith? Certainly not. On the contrary, we establish the law. And what he's saying as we conclude this chapter, Jesus Christ himself became the scapegoat. Jesus Christ himself took on my sin, your sin. 2 Corinthians 5.21 For God made him to be sin for us. Jesus fulfilled the law. That's the manifestation of the righteousness of God. God in eternity past had a plan of salvation to redeem man back to himself and then to reconcile us to him, bring us back into fellowship with him and restore us into that place where we can truly experience and know and love God with all of our hearts. Oh, this is a great passage, and I trust that you'll take time to meditate on it, think through it. All the world has become guilty before God. You know, some people are asking the question, especially today, where is God in all this? Where is God in all this? Sometimes God seems to be silent. Yes, as you look at the affairs of the world and maybe sometimes the details of your life, but I want you to know God is speaking loudly. He speaks loudly through His Holy Spirit. He speaks loudly through His Word today. And He speaks to us to come to Him by faith, trust Him, have no fear. He's there. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil, for thou art with me, the psalmist said. Even in the Old Testament, they realized that by faith. And I hope today that you will, by faith, both Jew, Gentile, it doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter how wicked, how evil, how good, 
come to Jesus today by faith, and my friend, He will truly justify you, set you before God as someone who is holy, righteous because of what Jesus did on the cross. Accept that forgiveness today. God bless you, and have a wonderful day.